G'day, it's Pete here. I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. And here I'm coming to you from Townsville. And I wake up early this morning, up at 4.30 to travel up here, and I've been flying. So let's see how it actually pans out. And then to actually add extra to that, I've had some computer troubles as well. But uh, I played some of it, and then my computer crashed. Let's just have a quick look at what I've done, which is the first six hands. So the first hand, uh, I opened one no trump, and my partner stamened, I bid two hearts, they bid two spades, which just showed uh, four spades and an invite. With a four triple three fifteen, I just passed. So the player went club, and I won the ten, so I know West has the king and the jack, and I wanted to test to see if hearts were three three, or if it was a double ten, ten nine, or if there was ace double ten with West by leading up to both of them. Um, but now my entries are a bit limited, so I decided to play spades from the north hand. And East put in the ten of spades, which is a really bad card to play. And then I just got to return spades and set them up. They switched to the diamonds rather than pushing a club through. So now I just got to see how hearts actually broke. So I played heart and a heart. And they broke 4-2, which meant I didn't set up any more hearts. But West still can't attack clubs uh, at all. So they got that winner, and then they just set up the diamond, and I had the rest of the tricks, which scored me 96%. Uh, board number two, um, I had 17 highs and a five-card suit, so I thought this was too good for uh, one no-trump opening, so I opened a heart and rebid two no-trumps, and my partner raised me there. And this is like a really tricky hand, because the entries are very limited, and it's difficult. Anyway, West found a bizarre lead of a, their fifth best diamond, which I don't get at all. But I scored the 10, and then I figured playing on hearts is probably the best. If hearts are 3-3, three, three, that's probably my best bet of getting um, enough tricks. That would give me one club, two spades, three diamonds, and three heart tricks. So I just let a low heart at this stage. They won and continued. I took it in the north hand and pulled a heart up, and a split. So the position of hearts here meant that I could have actually made 10 tricks if I had timed it differently. But East won, they cash that, and then switch to a club. And now I know, because it goes to the king, unless they false card me, I can finesse, but then they just return one. And I had the rest of the tricks there for 85%. Board number three, I feel like I got really, really punished on this hand. Um, so my partner, I opened one heart, my partner did two diamonds. So I jumped to three spade splinter. I was super slam happy on this one. But then my partner bid four hearts, which showed a three-card Q raise in hearts, which they just don't have. We've got a ten-card diamond fit, which they know, and we don't have a heart fit, which they probably know. Anyway, I just Q bid my spades because I didn't want to be the one key carding. So they key carded, and I showed a void, and they still picked hearts rather than diamonds, which I think is just bizarre. And I went five off for zero percent when. Uh, the winning score was six diamonds, which is really where I was trying to angle for, but uh, I feel like I was pretty harshly done by that. Then board four, my partner then bid this one really well instead. So uh, it was a bit um, a bit of a swings and roundabouts here. So they opened the spade, I bid two hearts. They bid three hearts, which is natural and forcing. They could have considered something like four clubs, but I bid four hearts, now they key carded, and I showed my two of the queen, and we got to six hearts, which has just scored me 82%. Then board number five, uh, here my partner opened one no trump, and with a four triple three, I didn't feel like stamining on this hand, and also I've only got 16 points. So if my partner's 15, I don't want to be there, I don't have a source of tricks. If my partner's got uh, 16, 17, I do want to be there. So I just bid four no trump quant, and I think my partner probably should accept with this good source of tricks. Not clear cut though, but we've just got 12 top tricks with four diamonds, five clubs, and the ace of spades. I did try some very optimistic squeeze on this hand in case East had six hearts, which they do, and king, queen, jack of spades, which they're just one spade short of actually ha having. So I cashed my diamonds and played a spade over, and if East instead of the eight of spades had the jack of spades when i play my diamond now they'd actually get squeezed but uh, not to be and 32 percent which i thought was pretty harsh but i knew it wasn't going to score fantastic because people would just be bashing slam then board number six here i opened one no trump my partner transferred bid clubs so i just signed off in three nine they bid six clubs now what's considering six no trumps here 
but I couldn't quite count 13 tricks. I needed like six club tricks from my partner's hand and the king of hearts um, on a spade lead, which I couldn't count that, so I didn't want a bid six, six no trumps. But partner's jack of diamonds meant that that just uh, fit uh, really, really well, so um, didn't need to actually uh, do that. Um, so anyone who bid six no trumps uh, did fantastic there. Um, at match points, it's always worth considering converting it to six no trumps. Here, I couldn't quite count the tricks, so I didn't. Anyway, uh, that was the first six boards, and then my computer crashed uh, after we bid to three no trumps. So, I, uh, no, we didn't bid to three no trumps. It went a heart, two clubs, two hearts, two spades, three hearts, three no trumps. And it goes ten of hearts to the queen. So I know West has ace, jack, third heart. I've got four spades, supposedly. And they have uh, five or so clubs, and I've got three hearts. So if I can play hearts here, they can win the jack, put me in with a club, and I can play another one. And I will eventually just set up a heart trick. Spade trick could work to potentially beat it, but my partner doesn't really have that many trick points, and I think that they're mainly in diamonds anyway. So I will return a heart. And I expect a club here, yep, so club, and I was thinking, uh, I don't want to duck it, there's no point in ducking it. So I'll just come out the king of hearts. Now my ace of spades is good for an entry, um, but they're going to cash their clubs. They've only got five clubs at the moment. So they've got five clubs, two hearts, two diamonds, but we'll uh, discard both my spades. I dislike pitching down to avoid here, but um, I get that, and now we get the remaining tricks. So 3 no down 1 for 75%. Really simple defense there. I am surprised we got that much for uh, this board. Uh, some people got to 3 hearts doubled. Okay, so they just kept bidding. You are not strong enough to like keep bidding here. If your partner can't respond, and the opponents are showing heaps of points, that's way too aggressive. You usually want like 16 or more points. Okay, and here, pass, pass, pass to me, and we have 9, 11, 15 high card points, so I'll just bid 1 no trump. My partner bid 3 no. Okay, and I got a flat 11 count. We've got 4 spades, a heart, and 2 clubs. It's 7, so we need extra tricks. I can probably build one in clubs by taking like a double finesse and that. I could try and pick hearts. I might be able to get a. Um, I might be able to get a diamond trick as well. I don't want West to win and push a diamond through, so I'm tempted to lead like low club to the nine, low club to the seven, playing West for one of the two club honors. If I was just worried about clubs, I'd play a club to the king and then finesse the other way, but because I want uh, east on lead and not west, I think it's better to uh, win in my hand and play a um, club to the nine. Okay, so they potentially split. Um, I'll just finesse on the way back. Okay, so I've got queen-jack fifth, but I didn't... Uh, play it. Anyway, they'll, they'll get their queen. Okay, so they didn't start with a club. And East discarded the four diamonds, which looks like low. I think the robots play high in courage. So West has queen and jack of clubs and probably the ace of diamonds, so I suspect East has the good hearts. So we'll go in with the jack of spades and just lay a low heart here. Misguessed that. So I want to duck another heart. So West has Queen Jack. They yeah, it's trying to cut communication here, but misguessed. Usually from Queen Ten I do finesse the ten, but um, Yeah, the ace of diamonds was offside as well. So down one and a bad board because I misguessed that. 39%. So 
So if I put in the ten of hearts, which I usually do because East would consider hopping up if they had short hearts. But here I know East doesn't have short hearts, so that's why I didn't really consider it. Um, they didn't encourage diamonds either, so... Yeah, uh, had chances to do better there. Overall, pretty decent with this, 58%. Uh, that last board's probably the board I'm most annoyed about. Like, maybe I, I should have considered putting in the Ten of Hearts there. Um, but East really should be ducking, but I should have slowed down to think about that one a bit more. Board 3, I got 0%, but it really felt like I was trying to get to 6 diamonds really, really hard, and my partner just put me into a really silly spot. Um, board 5, 32%, uh, happy with that one, like... I think four no trumps is the right bid, but got punished. And here, misguessed. So, could have got 82% there. So, board three. Like, I would only want to change board three on my partner's end. And board eight, I think I should have guessed that. Well, maybe guessed it differently. Uh, slowed down. I sort of rushed that one a bit too much. Um, but anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, annoying when I have these uh, technical issues with my computer crashing. Um, and can't show you the whole gameplay, but really interesting set of boards, very slam happy set. But uh, thanks all for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.